Good morning, Revolution. How we doing? Good. Amen. Me too. Hey, uh, just a couple of minutes here. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, there was a team of five of us, Mark Heron, Pete Spiker, Jim Farner, Kerry Rosenau, and myself, went to the Black Mountain, North Carolina, the Sw- Swannanoa uh, area, and uh, was over there for a few days this past week to see firsthand what Adventures and Missions is doing over there, okay? Uh, so we found out that they have a two-year commitment to the area. They already they have a plan, and they have a structure in place with a team there. This team... Uh, by, and I mean by plan and structure, this team's already redone 179 homes in 19 months in Florida, okay? So when I say they have a plan and a structure, they do, okay? Uh, they also have the first 100 homes, all the materials needed for those projects already promised and provided. So the first 100 rebuilds are already taken care of. So... Um, I got to go to their leadership meeting on Monday morning and uh, the leader over the project there stood up and got everybody's attention. He said, hey, everybody, look at your app. I want you to notice we have 72 hearts in our system. And I, I kinda, and he looked over at me and said, hearts are homeowners. <laughs> okay? So they, they refer to the homeowners, the property owners, as hearts. And part of their culture is there is no task more important than relationship to them, to the volunteers, to them, to the homeowners, or whatever. So they really have a, a good heart for it, okay? Um, we saw devastation, folks, beyond anything I can explain to you here in the next hour, okay? Uh, most of you have seen it on TV and all, but I promise you it's a real kick in the gut when you, when you actually see it firsthand with your own eyes. Um, one of the slides is a uh, children's home that we'll get up here in just a second. But there was a, uh, a little bitty creek on this property that turned into a mudslide that literally pushed two vehicles uh, out of the driveway across the road. Uh, next one, yeah, there we go. That's half of the debris field. But it pushed their vehicles across the road out into a field and then buried them. Okay? They had other damage too, but that's one half of the debris field. So anyways... The things that we saw were just amazing. But what we saw too were the believers being the hands and feet of Jesus. And that touched my heart as much as anything else did, okay? And so just um, a quick note of where do we go from here, okay? Um, we need volunteers to go. Like I said, they've already got so much stuff promised and so much stuff delivered. While we were there, there was a, a construction or a, a building supply place brought in a whole tractor trailer truck load of supplies. So the stuff is already there. We need volunteers to go. It would be uh, up to eight or more members on a team for about a week. Uh, they provide all the tools and everything. The good news is we already have leaders verified that's willing to go January, February, March, and April and lead a team. So we want you to be ready to sign up for that. So go on the website, go on the app, sign up uh, for interest meetings. There'll be one at 411 on December the 1st and one here on December the 15th. So get signed up, come to those meetings if you have any interest in going. You do not have to be a construction person to do it. You can go pray for people. I got that opportunity as well. So that's all I'm going to give you right now. Sign up for the meeting.